everybody. Welcome to this week's edition of Dragway Memories. Got lots to show you as usual. We're going to start with our continuing comp series this week featuring Bill Kidd. <laughs> All right, we've got some comp eliminator favorites from Southern Ontario, and one of the most famous is Bill Kidd, and this is before Bill Kidd got it, and this is, so you can see it's got different paint, different motor, all that, but this is the car that the kids bought and turned into this machine. Now painted bright red, you can still see the chassis is still blue. Uh, 413 max wedge with injectors now on the car. Uh, here it is with some gold lettering on it. It's Wells Fargo, and this is now an A Alter. Uh, those aren't Wells wheels, they're an American uh, Palabrans or something, I believe. Uh, now with a different front end, it's got a much lighter uh, front axle and different wheels on it. This is probably uh, one of the last times it was seen with the 413. This is a pit shot at Niagara. They're a very famous cover. A lot of people didn't realize that this is the Wills Fargo on the cover of Cars Magazine. A lot of uh, decals on it. You can see that it's always been a Hemi since 1968 or so. Uh, different paint again. Uh, roll cage and everything is still the same. Uh, more modern tires now on board and here's a good close-up you can see uh, a lot of the chassis. this is uh, later on in life as it's got all these swirls in the paint job now another indie shot and it is running a altered does something happen to the red shell they've got another one on there they've got a pie plate on the front wheels as it was hard to keep it from red lighting through the beams there. And this is a shot that's been in many magazines, got some different uh, uh, style rims on it. Uh, they, I believe that they borrowed these rims and tires from another competitor and it liked it right up on the bumper. Then they are on the move and looking for the next best thing that an A-Altered could do and they got into this trick, uh, it's known today as a suspension car, and you can see the front suspension, lots of front end travel. The rear was a four-link style design, and those m and Race Masters are really getting planted. Uh, uh, hooking it up initially was never an issue, but it uh, moved around like crazy and was a very hard car to drive according to uh, Bill Kidd and always gas powered look at you can see that it was plenty rich as he's standing on it lots of gas fumes coming out a lot of early funny car style roll cage on it never was as successful as their old one and they ended their career racing this machine to thank the Curly family for donating this footage. This is 1982 Cayuga, Dragway Park. Here we go, Stuart Coxhead in the Dragster. Very famous Dragster chassis. and Norm can fill us in on that. Now powered by a small block Chevy with a Formula 5000 hood. some laps here at Dragway Park up against an unknown yellow Vega. I don't know if it's uh, Joe Tree's old Vega, which would be the old Wally Clark Vega, but uh, we don't know. But there it is, and somebody will tell us, I am sure. 1982, Dragway Park. Cayuga. And Smoke coming out of... I think that's something on the lanes oh, from cleanup, okay, yeah. because a few cars had that. Some rice hull ash. Yeah. Claude Lozier in the world's fastest frog. Or Porticuda. And this car being restored back to stock. Yep. It's worth more money that way. Way more. Here comes Mike Curley, twin brother to Wayne. Got the chassis of this car. He traded a guy for a big block Chevy engine for the chassis and put it together himself. And uh, one of the quicker cars during the era.
Yep, yeah, all these cars, the uh, vast, vast majority, still running on gasoline at this point. Including this one. X top fuel dragster chassis. Focus, focus. There we go. There he goes. There goes Mike. Here we go with a 69 Camaro. Up against Klaus Bork. He owned a Dairy Queen franchise in Cooksville. And uh, this was a real RT 440 car. And only recently did Klaus sell the car. He took it to uh, New Hamburg for the Mopar event and parked it outside and put a for sale sign it and he did sell it. Rare car. Beautiful Nova. Don't know who this is, but we'd like to. Yeah, I like the looks of this. Small scoop. Krager SS is all the way around. Medium tire. Lakewood slapper bars on the back. Backing up into that gooey mess again. Very standard for all the tracks, not just Dragway Park. We've come a long way in track prep. So we need to know more about this Black Nova. There's Mike again. Big inch, big lock up against Gerald Anderson, another big lock Chevy powered dragster out of Entech. Ron Wig and the folks over there building big block Chevys. Very similar shops, both of the Mercury Marine dealers. Working on boat motors quite a bit. Both of these shops, Active Engines and Antec. Good leave. Good leave by Mike. Yes. Now we might be wrong here, but we think this is Norm in the car for some reason. Yeah, it could be Bev uh, standing beside it. That's what made me think. Yeah, here's our rat poison again. Steve Here's Smith. Steve. Close up. Close up of the center lines there. Dragway Park action. Super Pro. The 4 delay boxes. Yeah. And all the rest of the trickery. Stone Blue the Camaro against Wayne. Yep. Wayne heating the hides up in his big block Chevy 468. The car uh, received uh, much more chassis modifications. And it's quite possible it's still running today. Again, its life is a small block car. Yeah, Stone Blue in Blue. the Camaro. Not sure exactly who that I is. Don't know. Somebody that's not Stone should tell us. Here's hoping somebody knows about Stone Blue. All right, that's the end of this curly extravaganza. We'll see you with another one soon. If you book in some nitro funny cards and you book in some jet dragsters, you race them against each other. Check it out. Here we are at Keyuga Dragway Park again, round 82, 83, we figure. Yeah, that's Gerald Anderson with the hair cleaner on it, and later on he had a big scoop on it. So this is an earlier version. Look at all the signage, look at all the folks. Happening, please. It was. There was lots and lots of action here in Dragway Park during this era. This was a show with a switch. They had jets and they had funny cars, but they didn't race against their own. They raced against each other, which is a little different. Watch the five amber on this tree down here. You could set your watch here and wait a while. And... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Red light for the digger. Gerald Anderson's red and out of here. Understandable, sitting there waiting that long. Big handicap, couldn't wait. Vic Richards in the Rat Cuda. Slick Vic. The Fletcher Brothers Bantam. There's Vic's uh, truck and big camper. One of Drag Racing's many characters. Here we go, wheel standers. 
stands. Everybody stands, bit. which always made us short that people always upset. always annoyed me. Yeah. See everything perfectly if you just sit down. However, yeah. Nitro Funny Cars against Jet Dragsters. What could be cooler? Yeah, this is the Daily C car. Perhaps uh, Tom Brown at the switch would be. Sure. Mike Evidence drove this car too, I believe. And he's up against Bruce Larson in the nitro burning Corvette funny car. USA one. Yeah, out of Sutless Chevrolet in Pennsylvania. Always, always, always a good car. Here we go. At the hit, the funny car takes the initial lead. However, if you look, Evidence. the lights in this side. Gets by him. Jim Wemmett. The yeah. Wombat. Yeah, he's the underdog's underdog for sure. Out of uh, New York State. He's got Roger Gustin, the man yeah. himself, on spectator side in his jet dragster. Sherbert Sentry, look at all the multi colors on the jet engine. Roger, largely responsible for talking the NHRA into uh, developing some board uh, where they could monitor. Uh, everything jet related in order to be safe and allow jets to return to NHRA tracks. On. Wemmett out first as typical. Roger. Blows it on. on the top end. Can't make out. Yeah, I think it's Roger for the win. Yeah, it is. Spectator side. That's two for the jets. Who we got now, Bill? We've got Disc Grosberg in the Fighting Irish Pontiac Firebird Funny Car on Nitro. A load. Grosberg now out of New Jersey. That's an earthquake. That's got to be Mike Evans. That is. And the Funny Car wins that round. Tommy Ivo. In his jet, up against Al Segrini in the Custom Body Special. Final race. Castronovo Brothers out of Utica, um, New York. On this video. That's all for this week in Dragway Memories. I hope you like what you saw. If you did, please hit that subscribe button and the like button. Hey, leave a comment even. Remember. We'll be back next week, so look hard, go straight, don't be late, and may your God bless you. See ya.